YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Bernicia Renee. And today I am here with a highly requested video. Everyone always asks me about my store, my vendors, where I get all of my product from, the clothes that I've ordered, the purses, the shoes, the electronics. I had PS4 controllers, like I had everything. And if you guys are new, there are vendor review videos that go back to last year that hit 4K views, 2K views of products that I bought and that were actually amazing, that I sold, that I made profit off of, that my store was making money off of. So today's big, highly requested question is, is Alibaba a scam? Is Alibaba a scam? No, it's not a scam. It works 100% well. There is nothing that I've experienced on the app that gives me red flags or anyone that I know of or I put on that has given them red flags. I've sold my vendor list for my store before. None of the consumers have mentioned to me that they've had issues with any of the vendors that I have on my vendor list or just even if I just gave them the platform and gave them a brief description of how to use it, no one's ever came to me and been like, you know, they've had an issue. Alibaba is not a scam. It's so just a platform where suppliers and buyers are connecting. So there's millions of people in China and any other of those other countries that have companies that are selling stuff and they're just really wanting to reach out and get their products sold so it would be the same if we were trying to if i built a company here in the united states and i wanted chinese you know customers so it's the same thing um i've known about alibaba since 2016 i started 324 store in 2017 i just never acted on it until really 2020 when the pandemic hit for some reason i don't know if i was just scared or i didn't have enough information or i didn't have someone to just say just do it or I don't know it was a lot of stuff that came up in 2020 that wasn't available in 2016 when i was doing my research because i found about alibaba i found about about dh gates lovely wholesale i found a bunch of wholesale companies that i wrote down and i, I can show y'all the papers that i wrote down and i was just so afraid to like go to these websites and actually test these products and test these companies that i just never did it you guys have watched previous videos you guys will know that I started my store, 324 store, by getting donations from people around the city of gently used clothing, shoes, just gently used everything. And I would resell it on Poshmark, which is a platform like Let Go, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and I would resell it. And then the moment that I got enough money to actually buy my first real product, I think I used one of the websites like Lovely Wholesale, one that was actually US based, and I bought some hats, some pom pom hats. I bought like pink, maroon, green. I actually probably wore them in one of the videos, but I brought hats as my first product from selling off Poshmark. And then, so from there, I didn't necessarily still take on Alibaba. I still was a little, I don't know what I was a little, I just didn't do it. But it took until last year for me to actually, I bought a vendor list from the Boss Palace. And then I just, really dived in i didn't i didn't think i don't think i didn't think about it i didn't think about it i dived in i bought her vendors list the first thing that i bought from her vendors list was eyelashes because i am also a licensed esthetician and i have beast beauty bar so i brought eyelashes strip eyelashes 25 millimeters i think i brought a hundred of them and from there like i think i got addicted because it went from eyelashes to onesies which like I said, you guys, I have videos of these product reviews already. Onesies, body suits, I got kids pajamas. I have AirPods, color AirPods, PlayStation 4 controllers. What else did I get? Sunglasses, um, tools for eyelashes, the applicator tool, spool, like anything. We just start buying all type of stuff. And it's crazy because my store was actually going really stupid last year. That's when I was like, oh, e-commerce is it, it. So 
um yeah i would say take action if you're worried or you're scared or you think that like oh i've never used a plat platform or people have told me it's a scam or you know you don't it's it's just a platform just like any other social media platform but it's for business um i have my little notepad for my notes the number one thing that you need to make sure that you do though is research so research 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 and you're on the platform whenever you find a product so if you're looking for sunglasses whenever you find a product look at the company's profile they're going to have how many years they've been on the profile or how many years they've been in business they'll have posted up certificates that they have to pass in china so it'll be literal documents that they may have posted on their profile you'll want to make sure that they are a verified supplier through the alibaba platform so there's like just like everyone has on social media the v there's a blue v and it says verified that's a verified supplier make sure that they are a gold supplier that means they have a little gold circle gold metal that lets you know that um they're they're gold like you know they're not new on the platform they've sold x amount of products they ha have quality they're known for quality products also check their reviews so check the reviews on the product that you're looking at but also check the reviews on the company as a whole that you can check everything. There's nothing on there that they're hiding from you. If there's a company that you're running into or a product that you're running into and you can't find this information, then yes, that is a red flag. I would not probably buy from them. I would question, just ask questions. That's There's no penalty for asking questions. If they penalize you for asking questions, then that's a red flag because I'd be going at it. So have you, ever, have you ever made this product? Have you ever customized? Have you ever shipped to the United States before? Samples are probably not free anymore. I know back then they did used to do free samples, but because e-commerce has risen, that's not something that a lot of companies are willing to do because a lot of people have taken advantage of it. So now they may ask for you to either pay for the shipping for your sample and they may give it back to you if you do a bulk order. That's how majority of them work. Majority of them are not giving out free samples anymore. That is long gone and I feel them on that too. So make sure that the company has trade assurance. That means that if you purchase through them um, and through the platform Alibaba, that your money is protected. So it may take a while for you to give back your money if something happens or go through the refund process. But trade assurance means that they they solely take responsibility and that if something goes wrong or whatnot, that you will get your money back. I've made over 30 orders on, on Alibaba and there was only one time where I had an issue yes i got my money back it was 300 dollars that was just taken out of my account i didn't buy from that company or anything i don't know what happened but i got my 300 dollars back i say within 30 days they have because we're on different time zones of course it took that long because it was like me responding when i'm up during the day but they're freaking sleep and then they're responding to me because it's, you know, I'm asleep though, and they're up. So the timing is, that's really why it takes so long and communicating with whatever said company that that person was supposed to be with who might've snatched my money. So out of like 30 some orders, that's the only issue that I ever had. And yes, I got my money back. The companies also have followers. So check their followings. Like I was probably looking for someone that has over a thousand followers, you know what I'm saying? So there's some that have like, double digit thousands that's fine too but i would say just uh, as, long, as long as they have like a minimum of a thousand followers you're fine they're probably a good a go-to company there's someone that you could trust and that you should buy from but mainly just like if you guys order from sheen which is like a china chinese shopping platform check the reviews the reviews are going to give you everything you know and i would say specifically um what's it called filter it out so where it's people that have gotten product to the United States because it's people also from different countries ordering but we won't necessarily care about that we're in the United States we want to know if people from America have gotten this product from you and it's been exactly what they needed whatsapp is a go-to I know a lot of people are like scared of whatsapp people fear what they don't know but there's nothing wrong with whatsapp whatsapp is just the median for us to contact because you cannot from your regular cell phone t-mobile text a chinese phone number and get a response that's why the platform is there whatsapp is just simply just the median of for us to contact a chinese person period so don't get frantic if they ask you to contact them 
on WhatsApp, that's probably a more efficient way for them to contact you than through Alibaba. Now, there are some that may be saying that because they ain't, they doing stuff they ain't got no business doing, which you can't control that. You just ask as many questions as you can when it comes to the company and the product that you're wanting to get. But most of the time, I never had a problem with WhatsApp. I be I actually prefer to use whatsapp i'll ask them if they have whatsapp and then we can go we can take the whole transaction there because then i can deal with them one-on-one -on -one and we can build a relationship that way even off the platform but i mean i still use the platform but just going that way and even on whatsapp you'll be able to use paypal and i am a i love paypal so i trust paypal a lot so i would rather pay through paypal than the alibaba platform just because that's just my preference. I still use the Yellow Baba platform, but I do prefer to use PayPal. So using WhatsApp is a go. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's all I have. I don't, Alabama's not a scam. You know, it's just, you just have to do your research. If you're a business woman or businessman, nothing's just gonna come to you. Nobody's gonna give you the answer. Nobody's gonna give you, you know, just everything that you need and everything that you're looking for you have to do the research you have to do it on your own watch youtube videos and don't watch negative youtube videos so if you're looking and you're you're seeing this alibaba scam and you're watching all the videos to say it is then don't expect to like get a good response from using alibaba because you're watching negative videos watch the ones that are telling you that they made thousands of dollars or they're now a six-figure company from using that platform like change the way that you're thinking about your e-commerce business because it is possible i think i don't know my calculations i wish i had this for y'all but 2020 i'm pretty sure 324 store hit maybe like 10 grand i'm not really sure we were just it was just a move like 2020 came e-commerce came and then i was going so i don't know how much i made but i will say my return on investment was great I had a good run last year and now I'm really doing things differently to where I can kind of stay in the game long run this time because I was doing hand to hand people were calling my phone I'm like cash app I had orders going through my store but I had more hand to hand orders than anything just because it was people around the city I was I was like the first to do it in my city so it was like People like, oh my gosh, she got AirPods, she got PlayStation 4 controllers that were not in Walmart, GameStop, went in any game store. So I'm like literally the plug on PlayStation 4 controllers. Then we found like AirPods that like the whole city was asking for AirPods, like from here, Murfreesboro, Nashville. So it was crazy. So the new entryway into my e-commerce store is going to be 10 times more professional, organized, and everything of that nature. If you haven't yet, follow my e-commerce store at 324 store on Instagram. The website is not up. I'm currently working on getting it back up. And follow Bees Beauty Bar because I will also be getting into products for my beauty bar as well like skincare products, skincare tools and stuff that I'll use a vendor for, you know? So you guys go watch the older videos where you see that I've reviewed all of the product that I've had that I've ordered before from Alibaba. I have a vendors list that's also for sale. There's a link in my YouTube header and I put it in every description as well if you're looking for vendors, just for anything, hair care, clothes, kids clothes, shoes, Every, anything, it's, it's like over 40 something vendors on my vendors list for anything that you could possibly want to start. I add to it all the time, just whenever I'm on the app and I'm looking and I'm buying a good product and it's something that I would buy or that I am going to buy, I'll even update it. This list is only $25, that's affordable. That'll get you in the door. That'll get you starting somewhere when it comes to your business. My vendors list also contains 10 steps on how to start a business. So I'm not only giving you a vendors list and you can be like, oh my gosh, what do I do with this? No, I've given you steps one through 10 that tells you what to do first, second, third, fourth, fifth on starting an e-commerce business. That's as far as like getting a business name, registering your business. Cause my, my store, 324 store, it is a registered business, LLC. So I'm giving all that information out in the vendors list as well. That's really more worth more than $25. I'm giving you over the value, but that's because I just want y'all to win too. I'm not here to take anyone's money. My store, I've actually done everything that I'm telling y'all in the vendors list to do. Some of the vendors I've also already used. I still use to this day. 
so it's not a joke i'm not here to like you know pull the wool over y'all eyes or anything like that if you are new here welcome to the beehive don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are a returning subscriber how are you it is a new month happy august y'all it's really time to shift gears go time don't play with your potential you know focus 21 days creates a habit i know july's youtube challenge kind of went down the drain don't be mad at me i'm still here and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna try it again and i'm really gonna do it until i can get it and really do 30 days of videos no problem so if i have to restart 100 times i'm gonna i'm going to but i'm gonna get it down packed to where every day there's gonna be a video posted for y'all one of these months this month might be the month this month is going to be the month so sorry that you lied did get cut off two weeks in but here's a new video for you guys in terms of whether alibaba is a scam whether you should start your e-commerce store this is a sign that you should a lot of people get free game on their youtube videos all you got to do is guess what watch the videos for those that don't want to take the time to do it then that's your fault that's your own lack you're lacking simply because you're just being lazy so thank you guys for watching stay tuned there'll be more videos to come and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in the next video.